Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Plays Dark Souls 3, the Cinders mod. And uh, this is as far as we've gotten. Episode 1, uh, 35, 40 minutes, and uh, <laughs> we made it from over there to here. And I'm actually not even going to push forward just yet. Now hear me out. I do want to make some progression. I want to actually make some significant progression today. But I really would like to try and get some of the items that are available for purchase here. I don't even remember them all. There were just so many. But I was curious. Something that I don't think I really took notice of here. Okay, it is unlimited use. I want to revive the Dismal Knight. Go give him another go. And see if we can use him to farm souls. Oh, you know what, though? I wonder... Is this also a way of farming covenant items? So, let's see. What covenant are we currently in? We are in the Servant of the Rat, so we can get rat's tails. But what if we were to... No, we don't want to do Company of Champions. I'm just wondering, can we get a rat tail by killing the Dismal Knight? I want to try it. So that's what we're going to try right now. Uh, we are just going to... No, let's put it on our toolbar. Yeah, let's put it on the toolbar. Forgot about the Dark Souls toolbar. It's pretty cool. And let's see what happens. Okay, sure enough, just brings us right before. It doesn't even bring us to a bonfire, which is pretty interesting. And let's see if he's any different, any tougher. Are we going to get any souls out of him? Oh, didn't get the <laughs> expulsion off, which I'll probably just refer to it as expulsion, nothing else. Otherwise, it's just going to gross me out. Um, hit him. Did not get the proc, though. We need to get him more in the open. Yeah, I really need to get him to actually start shielding. There we go. That's a good one. Perfect. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, back up. Watch it. There we are. Watch the bash. hit. Oh, and that was it. That killed him. I didn't even realize he was that close. Let's see if we get really another soul of the Dismal Knight? Ember. Okay, so that's a good way of restoring your ember. I did get the souls. I did. Now, question. I now have... I do. I have two of these. Can I actually consume these for souls? For 1500 Okay, hear me out. That isn't bad. I mean, that is, what, about 5,000 souls between consuming his soul and killing him? Which means only doing that about 10 times to get that one opus item to summon companions. And I really want to do that. So, yeah. Um, wait. No, I still have it. It's unlimited use. Um, I'm going to farm him a few times. Be right back. Okay, so this was only, I think, the third kill. And I just got something else, but I got it so quickly that I didn't pay attention. Oh, it's a primordial fragment. One of the NPCs in the Sanctum wanted these. Okay, so this is just a rare drop? Cool. Well, farming shall continue. Hey, okay, so there's a rat tail and two primordial fragments. Excellent. And it just so happens that that fight put me over 50,000. And hey, that only took about 15 minutes. And I didn't die at all. Granted, I'm not showing you the footage, so you don't know if I'm lying or not, but, uh, spoiler alert, I'm lying. I, I definitely died a few times. Probably more than I, more than I ought to, but that was fun. I like that you can just farm bosses like that. That is just a cool design. I like that. So, let us go. Oh, hey, okay. There's another rat tail. So even the common enemies drop them with, well... They can't be too terribly uncommon. Now, who... You. You actually had the companions, right? So we wanted an opus. We wanted the opus of rituals. Back in a local companion to the play. Let's buy it. Oh, this is exciting. Oh, this is... Now, who uses primordial fragment? Was that you? 
Uh, a fix overview, yes. Use to empower accessories. But I don't even know, do I have any accessories? I don't, I don't know. Now, let's see, how do we use this opus? It is here. It costs 100 FP. But let's, uh, that's not what it, oh yeah, the censuring bomb, I gotta remember to use that. Let's see, does it work? <gasps> oh my heavens. Works. I have I have a companion. I have a companion. Let's go. Now who alright, so that is an enemy. Got some standard enemies up here, swing and a miss. Is my companion already gone? I know he doesn't last a terribly long time. Ooh, radiant life gem. Nice. Oh, this is the swordmaster. Alright, well tell you what, let's uh let's bring this guy on back see how he fares. Can I sneak up on him? Wow, that damage! Holy easy mode, Batman. There's the Uchi, got the Master of Time. I was beginning to wonder if, oh, if there was actually any of the standard items even remaining in the game, but now I've confirmed the Uchi Katana is, at least. Estus ring? Very nice. Yes, please. I don't have any rings on right now. Same thing. Increased HP on healing. Absolutely love, love that sword art. Some rustic coins. Okay. So I'm assuming just to increase my luck. Oh, wait a minute. Now that there's actually... No. They didn't increase your luck. They increased your item discovery. Is that still the case? Yes. Okay. So that could be good for farming covenant items. And there was another guy. Yep. Of course, he's still chilling down here. Can I? Yes, you can. Give him the old heave ho. Beautiful. And another rat tail. I don't even think the rat tails were that important. It looked like it was just some, I think those were the moss fruits and whatnot. So we'll see if they, oh, I actually didn't mean to resummon him, but I'm okay that I did. Some rouge water. Now I wonder, it says that it's a local companion. Does that mean that it's gonna be based on the area that I'm currently in? And since I'm in a graveyard, I get a, uh, I think these were the, are they the Grave Wardens? I know they're very different than the Grave Wardens in Dark Souls 2. Get out of here, puppers. Fading soul and fire bombs. Good, good. Oh, I do want to get that one fun fire bomb that is unlimited. That just sounds cool. Right, so, of course, inside Fire Link, if the swordman was down there, let's see what, if anything, has replaced the swordmaster. Oh, is there an item on the tree? There is. Ooh, 100 standard arrows. And... Oh, right. Kind of forgot about this little section. Oh, man. This is almost... This is almost too much. The fact that my FP regens pretty quickly. What did you just attack? Or did you just finish your attack that you were in the middle of? That was... That was over the top, if I dare say so. Okay, so that tree of the giants is still there. Oh, nice. Charcoal pine resin already gone down there great so let's let's go up to the other tower where the sword master would have been and also I want to go up there and see all right so this is open and okay oh we have a a black knight but yes it is an enemy I'm gonna send my companion in see how he does this companion is dead what does that oh <gasps> wait 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 time out time i remember it said that they if they died they could only come back once you've rested at a bonfire but how did he die did he fall off hold on we need to no i don't want to use the dark side what am i doing once defeated you must rest at a bonfire to revive them but he didn't 
He didn't get defeated, did he? All right, well, time for... Hopefully I can get a sneaky fecal expulsion on him. Wow. Okay. Good damage, good damage. Okay, pretty standard move set. Nice overhead. And dead. Good. Hey, Black Knight Greatsword. You know, I do love the Black Knight weapons, but my goodness, how long is it going to be before I can use this? Oh, increased damage against demons by 10%. 32 strength and 18 dex. I don't know. I don't have all these values memorized, so I'm not sure if this is any higher. But So if it's 32, what's 25% of 32? 8, so I need 24. No, that's wrong. That math is incorrect. How much strength would I need? 20? No, 21? About 21. Yeah, I think 20, 21 strength in order to two-hand that. That's still a lot. Okay, so there's an item up there that you still have to drop down onto. Nothing else. All right, well, let's go into Firelink. Let's see if that's the Sanctum and it's full of NPCs. What significantly has changed about the shrine itself? This is cool. This has been... That companion thing is just crazy how strong he was. All right, I still see Ludlith. The Coiled Sword is already in. There is the Firekeeper. Okay, there's Hawkwood, the Deserter. Yeah, we, I do want to rest. I want to go and explore, especially outside, but let's let's make sure we rest. And I'm assuming this is still just called Firelink Shrine, right? Fire, bonfire, wait, bonfire level one. What does that mean? I don't know. Travel. All right, let's see. So we have Firelink Shrine, Lonely Hollow, Overgrown Sanctum. We can also go to the High Wall of Lothric or the Foot of the High Wall. Now, the Foot of the High Wall, this is the area beyond the High Wall. So that's actually going into the Undead Settlement. That's Well, it says Undead Settlement right up at the top. Yeah, right after you kill Vord, you're transported here. So you have choices. Now, the mod does say that there are quest lines that are somewhat easily broken, and if you go too far into the game without exhausting dialogues, or if you try and proceed to an area that's kind of beyond progression or normal progression, you can break those. So, probably going to go a, a fairly standard route, unless something in the game tells me to do otherwise. All right. So, once again, skipping dialogue, just because I know they didn't record any new lines. So, let's see. We can level up. I wonder if they've changed values here so i can i can level up three times it's probably worth it i definitely want some more in fact i'm probably just going to take all vigor right now and then focus on getting our strength and dexterity up Farewell, Ashley. i will exhaust dialogues just in case they do have some different quest lines all right learn gesture wait we just learned path of the dragon that's not that's not the gesture he would normally give. And he also has... <laughs> right. He also has the Dragon Covenant item. Okay. This is pretty cool. Tailbone Club. Neat. You don't, uh, you don't see that one too often. And these take Dragon Eyes. So the Dragon Eyes probably similar to my other Covenant items. And that just wearing it gives me a chance of them dropping. Yes. Enables the collection of Dragon Eyes from enemies. Increases stamina drain dealt to enemies by 25%. Ooh, so you can break guards more easily. All right. It's interesting. It, it's going to be somewhat calculated which covenant you're going to use, not just based on what items you want to collect, but also because of what bonus it offers, which is pretty cool. I do like the defenses so far. I mean, the Company of Champi Champions, we're probably going to try that at some point. But I think we'll stick with the rat one for now. All right, right. So let's uh, let's exhaust. Ah. And there's the collapse. Okay. Yes, and it does give you some stopped. connections. Water stopped. There is that <laughs> dialogue exhausted. Oh, did these change? Yorm. No, probably not. I guess. So the actual lords have have remained the same. Watchers of the Abyss. Yeah. Okay. What about up here? Nope. That is King Lothric. 
All right, Ludlith, what do you got? All that and keep locally. We can transpose right away. We don't actually need the transposing kiln from the rotten great wood. Now, I did keep one soul. This is a big list, by the way. Holy cow. This is a very, very... Wow. Wait a minute. Frost flower ring imbue weapon with frost? Oh, this is cool. Right. So, can I get anything with the dismal night soul? Hmm. See, the problem is... What order are these in? All item spells. See, because I don't have many souls, I'm just going to kind of go through very quickly to see if it has it. It's all going to show that I can't afford it because you need the soul and you need regular souls. So I'm just going to go through and see if Dismal Knight has one. I'm not sure what he would have. Let's see. Of the Herald. I'm not... Another Herald. Lordran Remnants, interesting. A lot of familiar fate. Okay, Mirror Knight's in the game. <laughs> of the Rock. I mean, it's Havel, but he's just called the Rock. Dwayne Johnson would like to have a word. Hmm, I, you yeah, know, I'm thinking probably not. Not now. Oh, yes! Atonement! <gasps> Atonement is a really, really good spell. Draws enemies to the caster. Ooh, draws enemies to the caster. Boost magic, fire, lightning, and dark absorption by 50%. Reduces physical by 50 Never mind. It's not good anymore. No, that's terrible. <laughs> that's Hex given to those cast out from the Sable Church of Londor. Is that flavor text from the original? Probably is, because I'm not so sure the Dismal Knight is from... Londor. All right. So now that we've talked to them and we've rested, I do want to head outside. See if the tree jump is still a thing. See if Patches is hanging out yet. Nope. And tree. Yet to fall. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, this tower is unlocked already. Nothing over here. I mean, the tree's still there. They didn't move that. Vine Bomb. Temporarily increases dexterity. Wow. Okay. By how much? We're going to have to test this. So we're at... Yeah, we're at 9. So actually, let's just use it right from here. And we are up to, wow, that's plus 10 dexterity. That could be a significant damage boost for something that is uh, kind of attuned towards dexterity builds. That's great. Do I want to go all the way up? No. No, we want to try this tree jump first. I'm just trying to, is this further away? Okay, nope. <laughs> no, it's not. You know, and I actually did make that jump in the very first version of Cinders. So it's not too terribly surprising. Let's go inside before we run around. See if the birds are still here. There's a chest over on that side. Wait. You. You. How did I miss that chest? Oh, gosh. They probably have so many more trades. I'll have to... I think we won't do it yet, but once we have a bunch of items, I'll just spend some time and try all of the item drops. Okay, chest. Does not appear to be a mimic. Focusing ring. I mean, I don't even care what it does. I want it. Restores FP while standing still. Oh, come on. Yes. Obviously, I want that. The burial night set. Ooh. I mean, I love the Jester set, but now I have to be on the lookout for, you know, special... Whoop. What am I... What am I doing? Right, no fall damage. 
I went totally the wrong way. Anyway, what I was trying to say with armor, and I'm not even going to talk to anyone here. We're going to run past. I need to pay attention to what armor can have for bonuses. For example, these ones nullify fall damage, give me extra soul absorption. I mean, I suppose we can take a look at that right quick. See? In fact, I need to, like, check everything. Oh, we also get the master set. All right, so yes, bleed resist by 25%. Dexterity by two for the ragged mask. Whoa, okay. So, wearing the full master set gives you plus six dexterity. And if there's any bleed heavy enemies, the burial knight set might be good. This is gonna take me forever to get through this game because there's just so stinking much. All right. Dash Masters String. Dash Masters. Hello. Wait, what? Allows you to sprint endlessly and automatically. Red Band of String used by a man only as the Dash Master. Uh, so I'm not holding in the sprint button. I am actually not holding it in at all. Uh, and yet you can't walk. I mean, there's no, there's no tiptoeing. So that's definitely not something I want to use all the time. Wait a minute. So if I put, oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, this is, see, this is where it's going to get really dangerous. You can't just take small steps. A, fr a frying pan. And a plank shield, okay. So frying pan. It's a hammer class weapon. The skill is fry up, smash foes with a large spinning motion and continue spinning to transition into a strong attack. This is uh, consecutive attacks reduce weapon stamina consumption up to 50%. Wow, so you can just... The more you attack, the less stamina you use up to 50%. That's pretty crazy. I could two-hand it. I could two-hand it. Oh, I, this endless sprint is a little bit scary. Yeah, I... Mm. As much as that is cool, and for large stretches I might use it, but anywhere that I could die to, to falling, I just think that's... That's too risky. Going around the outside, I want to see if he hit any items out here. You would think, right? I mean, who didn't run around this entire town? Okay, there we go. <gasps> Sigbadoy! Hey! Alright, does that have any new effects? Because my onion bro better be uh, kicking. HP and frost resist. Okay. Same thing. I dig it, though. Frost resistance. Gotta remember that. Maybe again. <sighs> Whoa, camera. Maybe against Vort. Or any time we're in Irithyll. Yeah, that. Is wall recovery time at one second? I need to check wall recovery it is off and it's always supposed to be off i can't stand wall recovery in these games ah firekeeper soul wait why are we getting firekeeper souls are we back to leveling up our estus that way I'm not sure right so let's head back down i still have that one more area well actually we need to drop down here head back on top of firelink Oh my gosh, I think the entire episode might still be here in Firelink. And, I mean, I'm kind of sorry, but at the same time, I'm kind of not seeing if there's anything hidden. I mean, that looks like you could go there, but there's that's definitely going to be a killing, killing field. Okay, just want to make sure there's only one item to get. And I don't have to worry about fall damage, so... Oh, that's so exciting. What is this? Ring of Betrothal. All right. Well, is this going to be Henri's quest item or? Wait, it's not an item. Or it's, a, it's, not a, it's not a ring. Nor is it a quick item. Right. So, covenant item? No. It's got to just be a key item then. And it is indeed. Oh, and so is the fire... Give to your chosen betrothed. Ring of betrothal given to another to signal undying love for one another. Give to your chosen. Commitment can be overwhelming, but it brings its own rewards in time. Sure. Okay. Yeah. No, I mean, I'm not disagreeing with that sentiment. Just not sure what to do with it. Right. One more trip up top. Then we have... Oh, we still have Andre to talk to. We still have the Shrine Handmaiden. 
We still have a crystal lizard to go kill. Yeah, there's... <laughs> Progression is going to be slow, and I hope... I hope you're all on board for that. So we want to see if there's anything back there. Oh, I also need to drop down there. My goodness, we have so much more to do. Stick around. Come, that was... That was abysmal. <laughs> or dismal. <laughs> like the... Like the dismal night. That that should have been it. This is it. That's not it. Here we go. This time with gusto. Six times the charm. There it is. First try, every try. So, full disclosure, I have not read any of your comments because there are no comments at the time of this recording i enjoyed the first part so much that i decided to keep playing so it is the next day but i am recording before the other episode has gone live in fact it's i thought i heard the tinkling of a uh, crystal lizard okay crescent axe sweet we'll look at that here in a second this is a i thought it looked peculiar i guess it's a normal looking tree that's about it yeah i've enjoyed it so much that i decided to just uh keep recording before I even I haven't even edited and rendered the video yet so if you've added any comments that I'm totally ignoring right now I'm not they just uh, they they don't exist yet wait was there an item there oh blast all right that's right we got a ladder here so we'll go and do that again really quickly yeah I think do I want to do it next episode? Try and drop a few items? Or maybe I should just wait. Maybe I should just wait and get a few more. Priestess ring? Okay, so priestess ring originally was plus five. Don't tell me, don't tell me. Intelligence? I'm not sure. Faith. Okay, six. Six faith. Yeah, why not? Absolutely, I'll use that. That will make... Oh, I don't want the atonement anymore. I forgot about that. But it would make it easier to use. I've always liked the sound design. Yeah, 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 yeah. Up here on the roof, walking on these tiles. It will forever remind me, though, of Jurassic Park 2 The Lost World. When they are uh, being attacked by raptors up on the roof like that, and they just start sliding down. You've probably all seen the movie. Spoiler alert. Uh, they fight raptors on a tiled roof like that. Right, so. What else to do? What else? Right. Try and handmaiden. A pleasure to that with her passion. As is that. <laughs> uh, I can propose marriage. <laughs> can Now, hold on. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm into this. Is it a once and done deal? She doesn't know. <laughs> oh. I Ashen bring is it <laughs> Can I Can I just propose to anyone? Can I oh, can I propose to the the firekeeper? Alright, white sign soapstone. I why is this in the game? It's an online play and I don't know why he didn't just take that out. Dried finger. Same thing. Sorcerer's Staff, Talisman, Heretic Staff, Corrupted Talisman, neat, Black Flame, Catalyst for Hex, can cast Hexes, Sorceries, Pyromancies, and Miracles. Yes, I want, I want that. Spell buff is determined by Int and Faith. Same thing here. What's the magic or the spell buff? Ooh, significantly lower. Significantly lower, but it's new. Abyssal grab sounds cool. Yeah, I think I... Well, what do I need? I need... Okay. Just three more intelligence. That's not bad. I'm going to buy it. I am going to buy that. I... I... Mm, I can't. I, but now I have to... Can I propose to the Firekeeper? Yes. Oh, I can get the Firekeeper soul. Let's do that, though. This is... Much like what lies within me, then let it find its own place within my bosom. She will understand. Oh, 
Can you okay. have the dark sigil? Okay. That's right. That was in the... That was in the original. I have no dark sigil. Right. So, I'm assuming Yol still has his quest. Can I... I... Really? I mean, it's 2021. Did they really lock it behind genders? Come on. Come on, Kai. <laughs> I was going to say, come on, from software, and then I realized he has nothing to do with it. Look, Brian's back there. All right. Well, Andre, my friend. What? Oh, this. I can propose to Andre. Not Hawkwood? All right, we're just going to talk, talk, talk. Hey, there it is. Learn gesture, call over. You have a lot of stuff. Oh boy, right. You have no upgrade materials, no key items, no spells, of course. Weapons, you have plenty. Anything interesting right away. You sell the Uchi Katana. Uh, big inventory, but pretty standard fare, it seems like. Nothing too unusual. Got some bolts. All right. Now you have uh, just an absolute metric ton of things, so we're going to take a quick look. Reinforcement oh, is no longer present. Gotcha. You just got rid of upgrades. That's fair. All weapons are inherently more powerful. A weapon's power is released by increasing strength, dex, int, faith, or luck. Okay. So you don't actually improve the weapon. You improve yourself. I'm, I'm actually very okay with that. Yeah. Uh, we're not going to take the time to read all of these, but these are all the shield infusions or weapon infusions. Excuse me. There's the shield infusions. I do like restoration. Catalyst. Th pulsating, vibrating, throbbing, and quivering. Mm -hmm. So here I can infuse. I don't have any gems. I could get a lucky gem, though. One of the NPCs in the Sanctum had a lucky gem. And that does what? I wouldn't know because you, wait, is a lucky gem not actually an infusion? Maybe it's an accessory. I can repair, I can reinforce, no shards, and I can propose. <laughs> right, let's see if there's any other hidden NPCs. We have to wrap it up. I was really expecting, well, actually, no, I did farm some, so we're still around the 30 minute mark or so. No other NPCs hanging about? That's all right, I mean, there's there's enough. <laughs> there are enough. I think, oh, we still have that one crystal lizard we have to go kill. Let's see what he, what he drops. And then I kind of want to go back to the Sanctum and check out that Lucky Gem. Just to see... Am I hearing growling? Just to see what it what it does. Oh! And I do have a chest. Come on, come on. Don't let him go. Lizard hide. It is an item used to acquire many souls. Crush to unleash the souls embedded within. The taut hide of a, so, okay, that makes sense because we just learned from Andre that reinforcement's no longer a thing. Why would I be getting shards? So how, ooh, how many souls is, is many souls? 10,000. I agree with that, with that description. Neat. The red eye ring. I don't I don't want what that is. I mean maybe it'd be good for my companions. Increases the persistence of foes while pursuing the player. So just they just never stop believing. Wow, so much gear in Firelink Shrine. I, I kind of hope there's a little bit less out there in the world, but I doubt it. I doubt it. Also Welcome host. Also, also, yeah, we definitely, we're going to level up so I can use that new flame. That was 15, yeah. And then oh, we need some more endurance too. Let's get endurance to 10 before we work on strength and dexterity. We're already doing a ton of damage, plus we have a companion. Still, still not sure who I want to marry yet. I know, episode 2 and I haven't figured out the love of my life for the rest of this playthrough, but you know. Give me, give me a moment. Right, Overgrown Sanctum. 
Now, <laughs> question is, who in the world had that gem? Was it, was it the bear? I can propose marriage to you. Of course I can, of course. Okay, hold on. I didn't realize. Relics of power. To claim the relic of power, you must kill the soul of Cinder. Refrain from dying at any point during your journey. You failed. Shut up, game. Uh, now, what's the other one? Relic of insanity. I have already failed. Refrain from taking any damn. Oh, the no hit runners have already done this. What? I. What did I do? Oh, I don't remember what any of these... Oh, that's right. I can get these ritual incenses when uh, my companion's out. And we kill some enemies. Uh, don't... No, you're just all about transmogs. Purchase item. No. I can... I'm not, I'm not against marrying her. I... Oh, let's take a look at the rat, see what I get with the rat tails yeah so it's just the bug pellet and moss fruit which I mean okay bleed poison frost and curse it, there's probably going to be enemies that do multiple different multiple different uh, I got yelled at for being redundant using that word uh, multiple status ailments so that could actually come in handy what about you do you you don't have it either. Who, didn't someone have a lucky gem? Or, I'm being dumb, it was from the bonfire, wasn't it? It was from just the sacrifice. Or forge item, that's what it was. No, it is here. It is here. I would, I would actually like to make this weapon a lucky weapon. It's only 2,500. Maybe I'll have to farm the Dismal Knight some more. Well, <laughs> guess what, ladies and gentlemen? That's going to do it. And uh, I'm actually ending exactly where I ended last episode and started this episode. And that's as far as we've gotten. But time was not wasted. No, no. We actually got a lot done. We got a ton of new gear. I might look the same, but I, f I feel different. And we did get a new flame. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh you can hold it. And you can spin around, choosing where you want to exp expel your feces. That's horrible. Oh. So that, it looks like black flame. Right? I mean, that just looks like black flame, but it's, that's the abyssal grasp. Anyway, that is going to do it for this episode of... I'm going to go hit this guy with abyssal flame. 238. Not bad. <laughs> That's going to do it for this episode of Blue Clays, Dark Souls 3, The Cinders Mod. Uh, I'm having a blast. What can I say? I'm absolutely just enjoying every moment of this so far, and uh, I hope you are too. So I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Maybe we'll go to the high wall. I don't know.